to fee or not to fee. I'm like the Shakespeare for financial advisors, but when I say to fee or not to fee, I'm talking about an assets under management percentage fee based account. I think this is a really good way to go for many investors. Why? Because it helps align your best interests with your financial advisor's advice. I'm Mitch Goldberg with Client First Strategy, and I want to explain to you, in some cases, a fee-based account works best, in some cases, it doesn't. So, a fee-based account is not just putting a fee on someone's account, it's also about providing ongoing service, account monitoring, rebalancing, making adjustments to the account. It includes communicating with your client so that your advice is always exactly aligned with the changing needs and goals of the client. In some cases, though, a fee-based account is very inappropriate. For example, let's think of a client who just has long-term municipal bonds. There's virtually little to no activity in this client's account for years and years and years. That client would not be suitable for a fee-based account. That client would be better off in a commission-based account because it'll be a much cheaper, much less expensive endeavor for the client. So to learn more about this, I wrote an article a few years back on CNBC. I'm going to post it below. It's about fee-based accounts and reverse churning, meaning when financial advisors put their clients into fee-based accounts, where they would be better off actually in just regular, old-fashioned, commission-based accounts. Take a look at the article, hit me up with any questions or thoughts that you have, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you.